Hello and welcome to this brand new campaign here on Victoria 3 where we're going to be playing as the United States of America. So uh, just to start with then, our last campaign where we were playing as the two Sicilies uh, is now finished. That is due to the 1.2 update that has now come through. So I decided to start a brand new campaign rather than trying to salvage something it would be all laggy and whatnot on the old one. So, current starting position, we are six, rank 6 in the world, uh, standard of living is impoverished, uh, we're a republic, so let's go ahead and start. So then, first things first, we'll look at our technology, because in our last campaign, the two Sicilies, we started so, so far behind, and... That doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, let's switch to military. So we've got line Napoleonic. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. We perhaps get get uh, logistics in. That may help a bit. Uh, let's go to society then. Uh, oh yeah, we're really uh, quite nicely placed with that one. Uh, real, so I don't feel too bad. So first things. First, let's go on to uh, let's try and build a military up. Uh, let's go to logistics. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and unpause actually. And so we're off, we're on a roll. It is 1836, we've got until 1936. Uh, the goal of this campaign is uh, to see how powerful can we get. So, looks like here Mexico is starting war with Texas, so they'll probably win that. But I'd like to go over and uh, win Texas. Um, we're con currently colonizing these, in, uh, which is good, so we should get them incorporated in with us. Um, Let's go ahead and look at our politics. Uh, government Democratic Party in charge. The laws, uh, legal, oh, legacy, slavery. Uh, no migration controls. Um, we do need people coming over. Local police force, no police, dedicated police force. Um, do we try and enact that straight off? Let's give it a whirl, that might give us a bit of a boost. Uh, situation down here, is that even legal? Um, let's go and look at some buildings then. Florida is not producing anything, um, which isn't good. So, uh, we'll get some logging camps, cotton, livestock maize farms and sugar plantations going there so just going through trying to early game we're gonna need lead and metal iron probably um, so if we've got any iron anywhere we will um, get on with that coal we're definitely gonna need coal Uh, get some plantations going. Oh, what we got? Oh, iron. Straight off, iron is a problem. Uh, let's get the iron mines going then. Uh, so let's really concentrate on these iron mines. Um, got nothing here. What can we? So we're actually starting from like little qualifications for anything, which isn't good, but the more we produce goods, the more people do learn, um, which is good. So we're currently, I'm, I'm wondering if, let's go ahead and look at our buildings, how, how we are doing. Um, so we're not we're not too bad actually. We're not too bad at all. Let's 
precision tools, uh, that'll give us 10.7k. Um, So it is costing us materials to produce. Um, what was I doing? I wanted that up, didn't I? So buildings. A military is. It's okay, but it's not a professional one, you see. I'd probably like that. Yeah, we can't go back on what we said. Um, vineyards. I think we'll just have to go through some. Uh, see, that's going to lower us. Let's go to butchering tools first. See, there isn't much, we haven't got much railways at the minute, so. We're starting off iron frame buildings, which is good. Uh, muskets, I want to get rid of muskets. Um, shortage of iron, so I will switch that as soon as I can. Right, so we're in an okay starting position. Oh, city of plenty, party never end. So they become more loyal. Oh, apologies about that. My fan has suddenly decided to kick in louder. Um, so just go through... Basically, yeah, this episode we're going to go through and just really try and... Get things up a bit. Hardwood production. Yeah, I think actually, can we go... Because we will have to... We will need a lot of that, won't we? Uh, election. Yeah, we won't worry about that too much. Um, trade agreement. Lent a, a trade agreement, certainly with Britain. Uh, they're a big powerhouse. They are currently number one in the world. They do start there. Uh, we're number six, so not a bad starting place. Compared to when we the two Sicilies when we started at 10. Uh, let's have a look. I lost track of what I was doing, wasn't I? Buildings. Uh, rural. See, what I wanted to do is... Hardwood. Yeah, that's hardwood priority. Uh, let's get that out. Uh, Washington, what we've got here. Yeah. Um, go through, basically. Yeah, uh, a massive thank you for Paradox Interactive for allowing me to play, you know, play through these on my channel. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic if you need to get in touch with them. They really do treat you well. And at least dignify you with an answer, unlike uh, others. So, uh, lead mines, we will need lead. Rice, tobacco. You've really got to get our economy booming, haven't we? What have we got? So we're actually...
yeah construction efficiency so we, we need to construct where we can really um, it's the White House Uh, let's also, because we haven't got many ports, have we? I mean, everywhere is going to need ports. See, they got some. We've got one. It's currently. So yeah, there's a lot in Florida and there's just total inefficiency going on there. So we haven't got many railways at all or, or nothing. So yeah, we've got a lot. We started in a, not a bad situation really, but we have got to kick it all in, knit it all together. There's a lot of land to kind of get working. Um, so looking forward to that task, uh, so oh we are building there, see construction everywhere, I do apologise about my fan, it's got a mind of its own at the minute. Um, We have a dedicated police force. Oh, uh, good. And um, what else can we do politics wise? Uh, human rights, rights of assembly, censorship. Um, uh, we won't. Yeah, we won't touch that. Oh, I got went past. And I was have a look everywhere. Um, No, we're going to leave that there. Uh, elected bureaucrats. Um, yep, we want that in place. See, I would like to change this to a professional army. Um, currently a long way off that. Um, no migration controls, I want that. No social security, legal guardianship. Uh, I'd probably like to get that. Uh, education access um, let's start educating the populace uh, no I don't want to go down this whole path of reforming uh, the government at the minute so yeah here is the map I, I, I've said in my previous campaign I'll say again this one the map is absolutely fantastic um, just love it really has got that Victorian feel to it that's what I like about this game you do feel fully emerged into the Victorian world uh, let them fight no we should ban dueling don't want uh, my best people squabbling and killing themselves and each other so ah, so attacks can actually go up um, we really are doing okay then because tax is down and wages up uh, can we do a consumption tax on something like services that would give us 26 point yeah let, let's just do that one tax that gives us a good a good health uh, there while we do build more on our economy um, so the other things we might have to subsidize a lot just to get things kicking in Um, Abraham Lincoln retires from office. Um, yeah, there we go. 
rid of them both. Probably not a good idea, but uh, there we go. I've done it nonetheless. Um, see, these all these outer bits, they, they literally have got nothing. I mean, nothing. I am building up slowly there. Because that'll be the next thing we will we'll need steel as well. Uh, start producing. So we really, I mean, it's a good good start. Again, apologies for that fan. Yeah, it is a good start to where we are. Um, but we we do need more. So we do uh, lead. Oh right, um, so they're going to rise up against us. Let's um, mobilize my forces and get you get you moving. Uh, So we're going to have to conquer them then, are we? Um, can't do any war goals at the minute. Uh, no one is supporting them, no one is supporting us. So hopefully I should get through this since I've only got like six, six units. Um, which isn't ideal, so we'll have to work on the military. Uh, how are we doing here actually? Uh, there's still a lot. A lot not happening, and power of the purse. Switch that in, cargo point. Um, right, uh, how are we doing over here? Uh, the Ripper's gruesome murders, of course. Jack the Ripper, infamous amongst these things. Uh, fan kicks in again. So uh, I mean, so far it's uh, it's a good start. I'm quite I'm quite pleased where we are. Uh, I'm going to try and get try and take hold of all these uh, you know Indian nations, Native American nations. Sorry, and uh, yeah, perhaps work on Mexico then. Take. Texas and whatnot, but in the meantime, I, I still want to build up a healthy economy and a strong military, um, and then perhaps I can start looking further. Um, yeah, we abolish slavery, it's always a good thing. Um, so, they actually, got a lot, so are they gonna? They're uncertain. Oh, I can't, yeah, I already checked that, didn't I? Um, so I'm not going to back down. I I definitely want it. Uh, let's speed up. We're playing it on a normal speed. Let's play it on a fast speed. Uh, let's try and get this through. Uh, if I take this land, this episode. So yeah, there's so much land. So much to we could become a real economic powerhouse. So yeah, two arms, we are at war. Um interesting. Trying to uh, just just a quick war, really. I think we should be able to just pit them. In battle after battle. Yeah, again. So like I said, this is uh, playing on the new 1.2 update. That brings so many features in. 
perhaps as I go through we'll show some of them uh, as we go along but if you're uh, unsure and want to find out more about this game and everything I'll leave a link to Paradox Interactive website and their YouTube page do go ahead and have a look it's absolutely fantastic but only today my fans seem to have a mind of their own so if you sudden hear a sudden gush that's what it is very loud on my PC I perhaps need to invest in a cooling system for it rather than fans so we're just about there now which will bring us more land so probably more productivity now let's take this just this one little sliver now and we should be up to 100 war score then it should be um. yeah let, let's give them assistance uh, we need to be friendly going forward so just gotta wait for them to capitulate basically because it's gonna happen uh, which is good our economy is looking good absolutely unbearable at the minute this uh, stick a railway in tobacco So it's a great start really, a very very good start, quite pleased with it. Uh, other than my fans keep kicking it, I will have to look at this because it's got no reason for me doing this, uh, yet they have capitulated and why can't, why have you gone like that? So yeah, I'm still colonising then, uh, they were trying to stop it, suppress it, uh, yeah, suppress, uh, what we've got up here, so yeah, all, all the... Yeah, there's, there's so much uh, changes actually been made. It's uh, it certainly made things easier. See, convoys, I like that, how they've got the convoys now. There. It wasn't there before. That's going to be very useful. Uh, no pro Oh, there we go. Progress being made again. Uh, do we try slavery ban? Or is that going to cause too much of an issue at the minute? It's medium support. So I don't know. So we've got a few day or nine days here. Five days up here. Uh, right, this should help a bit then. have a look at our building so yeah florida is still yeah still uh <laughs> that's a, a lot of weeks uh so we've got nine pages of building to get through So again, we've got a little sliver here.
which brings us more resources. I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to add to it at the minute. I'm going to, I'm wondering with, if, what can I do? I can't come. See, if I was to co try and colonise, I don't know, somewhere in Africa, give us a foothold then into Europe, maybe. I don't know, but we're perhaps better just trying to take or um, concentrate over this this area, really. Leave leave Europe to their uh, devices, basically. Sorry about that, my iPad. I used to a terrible one today. Terrible one. Right. How are we doing? So it's actually looking really good. Though we haven't got, we, um, I mean, military, we basically, we haven't got one. I mean, let's have a look at Navy. We, we do have a bit of a Navy. Not great. But, you know, we, we are building... We are certainly building. Cost us 10 tools. See, that's your thing. We will need to be, build more tools and whatnot. Absolute mind of it, own. This fan is doing my head in right now. So got a lot of, uh, let's have a look at the pops on everything. Uh, yeah, this, this game has got so much depth to it. I mean, so much depth. Uh, the struggling, impoverished. So labourers are actually struggling. Slaves are, of there's 2.9, 2.09 million slaves who are struggling, um, So these are a lot of the lower classes. I've got to work on that, haven't I? I've got to work on the lower classes. So that can actually be done. You see, if I add, con you know, consumption tax, say on liquor, which they might drink, and tobacco, that forces the prices up, makes them more impoverished because they can't afford to spend. So you have to be careful with stuff like that. Uh, there we go. Logistics unlocked. Uh, let's go through because I want to get rid of just simple muskets so let's go to rifling which will upgrade our muskets then see as we go along we are learning as well I would like to see I like now they have got all these here where you can see exactly what they do, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I love things being made much more simple in these games because they've got so much depth to them. Um, so yeah, I think for our first episode, we will leave it there. Let's go ahead and pause. We will leave it there. We've had a good start. Uh, again, apologies about the my fan keep keep kicking in. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. Um, so apologies. But as ever, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time for more Victoria Free. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>